All right, we're on here. Today's plan, this afternoon, I should say, as we're looking at, we're in beautiful sunset. I can't really show it that good. Is uh, involving taking a little fat bike ride out uh, to visit my ice fishing house on Alton Bay, Lake Winnipesaukee. So our adventure starts <laughs> as long as we can get the old truck here fired up, the old F-250. And she hasn't been totally digging the cold lately. Let's see what we got. Clutch in. Oh, that happened. All right. Step one, check. Uh, so yeah, basically I'm gonna go throw the bike in the back here, take a 15, 20 minute ride up to the lake and uh, try to get a little bit of film on the fat bike uh, front end to, to get out there and see how the house is doing before the big storm rolls in here. Ah, she's purring like a kitten. I still haven't done a, uh, a quick video on the old 97 here yet, but she's two wheel drive, uh, but plenty good for going up to the parking lot at Alton Bay and uh, doing pretty much all the firewood hauling and what have you. I just love the old hubcaps in this thing. Although I got some nice alloy rims to put on there. But anyways, uh, the bike we grabbed today is the, I think it's called the Surly ice cream truck. I don't know much about these bikes other than they look kind of neat. This one's got uh, studded tires on it, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, fat bike. I figured I'm kind of a fat guy, so I'll get the matching bike and be able to do things like this. Anyways, I'll uh, get back to it when we get to the lake. Made it to the boat launch out here, Alton Bay. Uh, I can see, or I can't see it too good. There's an American flag out there on the bandstand. Uh, it's just a little bit windy. It's coming down the bay like usual. A couple of fellers out there. Uh, anyway, we're going to take the old, the old ice cream truck out here for a quick ride. I'm going to see if I can mount this. This might be terrible. I really got to get one of them GoPros there. Let's see. I'm not sure if you can see the tire on that. Mm. Let's see how this goes. Put my gloves on here. Probably gonna knock the phone off, but. A wonderful road cloud out here. Like I said, this is what is this Wednesday evening? We've got a pretty good storm coming on Saturday. My ice house is one of the last ones out there on the left. off until I get out there. Okay, getting close. This is uh, this is my little house out here. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of it running up though. Probably not doing it justice, but it's a beautiful evening out here on the lake other than this wind that drives through your face. <coughs> see if I can do this without crashing. Here we go. These are uh, little hemlock sticks where that I have had my, my cusp lines set out. Ooh, that's messed up. All right, here we are, home sweet home. Take a uh, quick check around. One of the things about leaving an ice house out here in the bay is you uh, got to really make sure they're secured down really well. Have a couple of different things that were chained into, bolted to the ice. Gotta make sure everything's up on blocks in case anything melts and it freezes back in. And I got some corners hung in there too with uh, with uh, some straps just to keep it all secure down. You don't want it sitting here waving. Also, you gotta have your um, 
reflective material. I believe it's like 12 square inches on each side. As you can imagine, uh, snowmobilers come and whipping down these places, especially in the in the evening. This uh, sandy point for anybody that knows Alton Bay, just up around the corner here. And if you can see any of these yellow markers, uh, that's where the airplane strip is right there. Last year I kind of secured down a lot closer to it, but the fishing wasn't as good. So I'm out here. Probably shouldn't give away my little secrets, but near a couple of uh, buoy markers looking for a little bit of structure. Catch me some cusk. It's about the only thing I catch in this bay. Not some other guys looking for rainbows and lakers, but I'll take the cusk. They're good eating. Yeah, I'm just gonna check this thing out. Incidentally, as I was mentioned, I've got a couple of these. These uh, bicycles are really cool, and uh, I love this one. I use it a lot just for ice riding because in New Hampshire, one thing about about this state, not a lot of flat ground uh, anywhere here. So anybody's trying to ride a bicycle, yeah, you want to probably cover that mic. Uh, you get you ride out on the ice, you're at least guaranteed to be flat, and uh, that's pretty cool. So as I mentioned, this thing is a surly ice cream truck with, uh, I don't know, 45 north, some kind of tires with uh, studs in them. So I can come out here on the sheer ice and ride all around. It's pretty fun. Um, it's just, just kind of a long walk. Not a bad one to get out to where I'm at uh, from where we can park in the bay, but still, we'll take it. Anyways, I'm just going to pop into the old house here, make sure she's secure. Uh, I'm not going to be able to put any cusk lines out because I won't be able to come back out tomorrow. Uh, you got to trek those over 24 hours. And yeah, see if I can't get this little video posted and uh, make some more. I really got to get one of, those, uh, one of those GoPro cameras or something. Hope all's good. Later on.